This is InvestorIdeas.com with Danny Rittman, CTO of Gopher Protocol, trading on the OTC under symbol GOPH, a company developing real-time heuristic-based mobile technology. Danny talks about the company's Guardian Pet Tracker coming to consumers this year, how it works, and why it's different than anything on the market today. Danny, for first-time listeners, can you share some of the background on the uh, technology that the Guardian Sphere is based on? Sure. Uh, the Guardian Sphere actually is based on what we call the Guardian uh, Pet technology, which we actually developed about two years ago. The Guardian Patch is uh, what we call a global uh, tracking system, which is based on our innovative, uh, I would call, uh, actually, breakthrough uh, radio technology that currently is a pioneer and the first one of its kind. So that's where the, the actual sphere is coming from. That's the background. And one of the key uses for the Guardian Sphere is to track pets, but what else can you track with it? And also, what kind of distances can you track something with? Yeah, well, this is, uh, the, the, although we, it's defined, you know, as, as a Guardian Pet Tracker, Guardian Sphere, by the way, is the code name, the, its internal product, but that's how also it's, it's the look of the device. You, we can actually, a user can use the device to track anything. We can put it on, you know, on your child uh, belt in a, in a in a lunch bag, on a, on a backpack, um, a- anything that basically fits this size, you know, it's about 40 millimeters of diameter, um, anything it, it can track. So, uh, of course, we'll be targeted for loved ones, you know, pets, uh, cats, dogs, uh, um, but you can track it any, virtually anything that you actually place it on. And, and what, what kind of distance can you track your pet for? Like a mile, two miles? Like how many, what's the actual distance that I could track them within? Well, uh, the uh, tests that we actually conducted uh, definitely gave us many miles, gave me a few miles. You know, we actually track it three to five, to, it depends on the, on the terrain, of course. Uh, even up to 10 miles can be. But we, we try to be careful, you know, not to, to make promises that, you know, later uh, customers will not be happy. Not like, for example, the Guardian Patch, uh, for example, is, is actually the more advanced technology that can actually unlimited. This one is still... Uh, the sphere of the Guardian Pet Tracker is targeted for local, uh, I would call it a local neighborhood. So okay. we definitely target between two to five miles. Okay. And in simple terms for a consumer, how does the Pet Tracker uh, work and, and would it be easy to use as, as an average consumer? Would they f- be able to figure it out and use it? Yeah, there's no, it's no, nothing complicated. You get the sphere, you know, your battery is rechargeable, you place it, charge it. Uh, the base that comes with the base unit, and, and by the way, one thing to important is, in, in case we do have um, other base units in the neighborhood, they will extend, they will support your your sphere. So, if you, your neighbor lives two miles away from you and you also have a system like that, it basically extend your range and so forth. So theoretically, with many more in the neighborhood, the, the range can be 50 miles, can be 100 miles. Um, but uh, the, the main idea is that it's very simple to use. Uh, it's charged. That's it. There's, there's a button on off on it. A uh, few clicks of a button. There is a set of button. How many, you know, every the, the time interval, how many minutes, every, 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 how many minutes you want it to transmit. So it can do it every real time, you know, every few seconds, every one minute, every five minutes. That's basically what we will determine the battery life. And, and what's the current development status of the pet tracker? Um, how far away are you from commercialization? We're only a few months away. Uh, we actually, the prototypes are fully working. We already have them, play with them. Um, currently, we're testing with even uh, a company that provides an infrastructure in uh, major cities like San Francisco. We test it in, the, in California, Los Angeles area, San Diego, etc. Uh, but the actual commercial uh, uh, product uh, is actually now uh, almost complete. We're going to start probably going to a field testing in a few weeks. And then it's just packaging, uh, boxing. So I anticipate probably uh, by, D- by Q1, definitely, I think, we'll have a product. Okay. And, and how is it going to be rolled out and sold to consumers? Are, are, there any, like, are you going to start with your website um, to begin with? And then would there be plans to roll it out to retailers and big box retailers in the pet industry? Yes, we're going to go all of the all of the above. We're definitely going to go uh, online. I'm assuming Amazon and also with the big retailers. So we do have a force for that. Our marketing uh, department that basically working on that right now as we speak. But that that's the plan. 
And, and what makes your product different? Because if I do a Google search, I can see pet tracking technology. So I guess for consumers, the big question is, what makes your pet tracking technology different from what's currently out there? The main thing is the range. We are the first one today, whatever exists in the market, small buttons, uh, even GPS that are fairly larger devices. Uh, uh, first is, is the range. Uh, you know, we are, we are really the first one that actually go really many miles. Um, second, we don't have any, you know, any monthly fee. There's no subscription here. You don't need to pay cellular. If it's a cellular base, of course, it can be different, but then you have to pay every month. It's like, almost like having a cellular phone account. Uh, no monthly fee, no subscription, uh, very substantial, nice range of, of extensive many miles. Uh, that's our major advantage. And in closing, what will the uh, pet tracker actually retail for to consumers, and how can they find out more about it? Is there a sign-up or a waiting list for people that are interested in it? We do have a website, www.guardianpettracker.com. Sorry, www.guardianpettracker.com. Uh, the official uh, retail price will be 169.95, but we will offer it much cheaper. We'll offer it for 118. That's including the sphere, the system, you know, the, the actual tracking device and the base unit. Uh, we will also offer just the sphere for 89.95. Um, and of course, if we buy a few of them, it's going to be cheaper. So it's very competitive. Uh, other systems that are providing, you know, cellular based or something like that are much more expensive. So we are definitely competitive in pricing. Listeners are reminded to read all disclaimers and disclosures on InvestorIdeas.com website related to our featured companies. 